20 friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Misha and this is my channel where I share all planty related content. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much. I love you and I appreciate you for your support. So today, as you can see, I have Belle with me and she's a little needy. So I'm going to <laughs> have a chair next to me where she's going to be um, so that I can start but, you know, you guys know Belle. You okay? You gonna be okay? Okay. Okay, she, since she turned 14, she's a little needy. But that's okay, because I love her cuddles. So, today is gonna be a little different. Um, I just wanted to share with you guys that I actually finally went out shopping. I went to many different stores and I ended up purchasing things that I loved that are plant related. If you have gone to a place that you love and you have purchased similar items or items that you think I would like, let me know in the comment below in the comments below. I would greatly appreciate it. So we ended up going to Pottery Barn, Ikea, Home Depot, uh, and we ended up going to Target, and I'm trying to think because there's one more, Big Lots. <laughs> and so I kind of wanted to share with you what I ended up getting and for what, so let's just get right into it <laughs> some things actually are not for meant for plants but I'm making them be but you know what I forgot one thing that I want to show you that is one of my like I was really excited when I found it so let me pause for a second and I'll be right back <laughs> okay I'm back so at Pottery Barn, you know what, no. I'm gonna show you one thing that I ended up getting at Amazon. Um, unrelated, obviously, from the plan trips that I did. But I figure, even though I have 2020 vision, sometimes it's very difficult to see pest. So I ended up getting a little um, magnifying glass. And this has been, let me put Bill down. <laughs> Um, she saw my daughter and she's like, I'm going to the backyard. Um, so this has been a lifesaver, especially because lately I've been having not only thrips, but I've been having scale. And so the scale was so small that if it wasn't because of the magnifying glass, I would not have seen it. Less than $10 comes with a little thing to clean it. So I was happy about that. So this was, um... My first plenty purchase. Do you guys use this? Um, I just think it's, I'm sure that a lot of plenty people in the community use them. I just never had before and it's like a lifesaver. So when I water my plants now, if I see something any funky or whatever, I go get it and it's like perfect. So that's that. Then I went to Ikea and i just ended up getting this little dome and it's super tiny and i can't recall how many inches it is I, obviously i've been using it so it's full of um humidity and i've been using it for this little peperomia hope and the reason behind it it's because i used to have a full plant it's on my um instagram channel instagram channel instagram page and the whole plant died because it had a, I don't know, it had something wrong with it. It was, um, I can't recall the name of what it had. But anyway, this came from one leaf. So I learned that if you actually grab any of their domes and you just get a terracotta um, saucer, you legit can just place it on top and it's perfect 
and I have I'm gonna insert a clip where it kind of shows how the plant looks but it has been perfect I keep it right there I put it there and it's the cutest thing and it's keeping the humidity because until the little peperomia hope is not big enough I'm not getting it out but I think that this is gonna definitely help I I'm obsessed with terrariums, um, closures, um, so I, I'm going to get more because for the little plants, I think it's amazing. So what do you think? Cool, huh? Okay, let me carefully put it here. Then I went to Pottery Barn. And I found this, oh my gosh, I should have put everything closer, but I didn't. So I was looking for a dome or a, ter a small terrarium and I was very unsuccessful. So I ended up finding this, which I removed the sticker so I don't even know what the heck it is. Um, I forgot. I don't know, a jar, a boss, I don't know. But I've been struggling with my Hoya Sunrise that even though is gorgeously um, sun stress and has given me new growth, the new leaves are actually like falling off. And I'm not sure what to do. It's been in Lega for some time. And so I figure, you know what? I know humidity does wonders for new growth. So I ended up just grabbing this. Placing it upside down. And of course you can't see this, but I'm going to show you how... How it actually looks so it looks like this I really hope you can see because there's a lot of humidity and I didn't think this through this is the video that I'm filming at the last minute because I am like in such a good mood today I just but it's like you know so here it is and it looks super cute in my IKEA um, you know shelf behind me I love it so much and I'll probably insert a clip of that too um, in the, when it's there. <laughs> but I, I freaking love it because it's like, you know what? Yeah, I love it. It's perfect for it. And I'm going to see if that helps the freaking sunrise. If not, I'll place her back in soil. I don't know what the heck she wants, but she's getting annoying. Okay, so enough of that tangent. Then... I went to Pottery Barn. I found this little tiny cute terracotta planters. I freaking love it. I ended up getting five of them that were like $1.49, I believe. Um, so I ended up getting this. And then I found right next to them some cute plastic saucers that are like lifesaver. They're four inches. They were freaking 12 cents. So I ended up grabbing 20 of them. But they're perfect for my um, larger plastic planters, for some of the plants that are in Lega to hold just enough humidity. Um, so I thought that was crazy, crazy good. Um, then there at Pottery Barn, what else did I get? Oh, I ended up getting saucers that have the glazed top. Let me show you. So I'm prepared. Hold on. See? So it has the little glaze. So this actually were $1.50, I think. So they only had four. So I took the last four they had. But I flipping love it because um, Phil ended up making me um, this shelving. 
and it's you know an antique wood door and I don't want it to like be messed up so the plants that I do water on a weekly basis I want to go and find more of these because I think it's gonna save the cabinet which I love and it will show also my appreciation because he spent a long time making it for me so let me put it back okay I'm back so then I went to Big Lots and let me tell you I ended up getting something that it's not meant for plants but I'm gonna make it be so I ended up finding this um, sweet tobacco candle which actually does not smell bad and my fiance liked it but it doesn't smell good either I don't know um, okay maybe gross I don't know but hopefully it's one of those like junky ones that like doesn't smell much <laughs> but I figure you know what when I finish it has this beautiful five inch terracotta um, terracotta is it terracotta no, it's a glaze um, planter, and so I'm going to use it as a um, cash pot, and it was only $8, so I figured, you know what, it's like I'm buying the candle for $4 and the planter for 4 so I was like, you know what, I'll take it, and then I found this cup that I loved, but my daughter's really funny, we're really um, frugal, and she's more than me, so she was like putting the brakes on me. And so I didn't get a cup that I wanted, but I did find a planter that said the same exact thing. So I took it and this was a ceramic planter. It doesn't tell me how many inches, but it's easily four or five inches. It was six dollars. And look, sometimes I wet my plants. When I read this, um, I was laughing so hard um, that one of the gentlemen that was near us just started laughing and I think he thought that I was crazy and that's fine. My daughter thinks I'm crazy too. Then, I even though this is really not true to an extent, um, this one, I also got it from there, Blame It On My Roots, and I think it's so cute, it does have a drainage hole, and, you know, for $6, I thought it was a great deal. When I was little, one of the best memories I have is that when I live in Puerto Rico, we moved to this neighborhood where I found my longtime friends, you know, I moved there when I was very young, and... It was incredible. The person who owned the home before we did had made the backyard be a fruit and vegetable garden. There were um, trees, there were there was a, such a large avocado tree that it would it would give us like hundreds of avocados a year. There were so many other plants that we would have so much that we would share with others. Um, and we were all like a really close, tight-knit community. Um, over there, I miss a lot of things. Growing up in Puerto Rico was beautiful, especially um, during the holidays. I lived in a street where across from me, next to me, we had so many young people that were similar ages and we were doing all kinds of games outside and one family alone had 10 children so I had like plenty of friends and during New Year's when midnight would hit it would take us forever because we all would kiss our friends our neighbors our families and it was like a block party it was pretty cool so when I came to the US I was like oh my gosh this is so boring like it's it's definitely different I have gotten used to it I make my own fun but it it's definitely different and we used to do caroling like we do here um but over there was different like we would go to sing Christmas songs 
at three, four o'clock in the morning, two, two to three. And oh my gosh, like we would not stop singing until they would open the door and give us some sort of snack or something to drink. And it was so funny, like, and so much fun. So I miss that. And it's really good memories that I will always share. But um, yeah, I would love to know what your memories are from the holidays. And, you know, because I know that it's, it's quite different, you know, as you get older um, and life kind of hits you in the face. But anyhow, I don't even, so yeah, so I, wow, all of that loop over this, that's how much I love this one, that it took me back to those memories. Because, you know, I love my roots. I, I love the way that, you know, I grew up, the friends that I, that I have, and the things that I did, and it was just, it was just amazing. And on top of that, like loving the community like that, I don't know, it's just, I love it, and that's why, when I bought my home many years ago, I I know my neighbors and they're awesome and they've been here for 30, 40 plus years and it's it's nice to sort of have that again and know them by name and, and you know, just kind of be close because I feel like for the first 15 years um, that I moved to Florida, that it was more of a high and by with your neighbors and that made me sad. So I'm glad that it's not like that here. But anyhow, I thought this was gonna be short. Okay, then I went to Target and I was in a manhunt for a little, I don't know if you guys ever watch um, My Petite Garden. Oh my gosh, I love her freaking videos. They're so calming and relaxing and she's just an inspiration to me. Um, there's a lot of YouTubers that inspire me in different ways. I do watch Becca De La Plants a lot. I do watch Harley G. If I wanna learn any planty content, I go to Summer Rain Oaks. Um, I also love Gusty's Plants. He's like a riot and um, of course, Amanda from, from Plant Arena, which she's, I think, the queen. I, She was the first YouTuber I ever watched, and I thought she was so cute and crazy and, like, in a good way, you know? Because I'm, I'm wacky like that. Like, I just kind of say whatever I feel, <laughs> as you can see. <laughs> but anyhow, um, so from my petite garden, I noticed that she gets a lot of this little wooden stands and I've been on the hunt for them so I finally found a couple at Target at my local Target and I was so flipping excited they were only two left so I grabbed both they were only like eight dollars so now Target's gonna be my place to go and this is gonna be what I'll be looking for and I flip and love it and it looks so cute you can see back here is the second one with my Monstera Adansoni and I just think it looks so cute and then this one actually goes next to it with my little Hoya Peliflua so yeah and then last but not least is my last very last store which was Home Depot when I went to Home Depot I saw this mini um, Dwarf ficus, um, fiddle ficus. Um, oh my gosh. <laughs> like, I wanted it, but I saw that it was soaked. So I automatically, um, to the rescue, I didn't purchase it though. But I went to the rescue and I flipped it upside down. And of course, buckets of water is coming down. And a lady just starts looking at me like, are you crazy? And in my head, I'm like thinking, shh, I'm trying to save it. <laughs> You know but it's so sad and a lot of the plants were in very bad shape and because it's winter they were taking such a bad care of them I didn't want to bring a plant home that it was gonna die on me 
um, it was in the correct in incorrect soil and all that but at least I dumped all the water and I'm trying to give it a chance for who is meant to get it um, and but I did find this it's mini um, this is eight and a half inches I love this it is a DNA magnet look how cute so I have my little Hoya in Corvola my Hoya La Cunosa and a little tiny flipping um, propagation of a lipstick plant the gracilis lipstick plant um, this I have purchased one in Amazon for like 30 bucks I'm like you know what that's overpriced and I thought it was larger so I returned it and then I went to Home Depot you know and this is the little sticker it was half the price at Home Depot so I ended up getting two and I think it looks so beautiful I don't know if you can see I have another one back here and let's see But this little cutie pie is there, this little propagation. You can, I don't know if you can see, look at those roots. My little listed plant is loving it. So I, I love it. I think it's super cute. And I, I'm really into terrariums. So if you guys see any, let me see. If you guys see any around, <laughs> my Iroba Bhutan Jr. died in the kitchen because he's he's stupid and can't get to his freaking base. So, or maybe he's just pampered and I have to always take it. So he died in the kitchen and that was him. If you heard that. Um, so anyhow, so I think this is gorgeous. I love it so much. I have little plants that are growing and needing humidity in here. And that's, I think that's it. I'm pretty sure that's it. I think. I think so. So I was really happy that I got to finally go out and do something you know for me I also went to home goods and let me tell you I sadly couldn't find anything they have beautiful planters and things um, that I thought they were beautiful but I, they were not the price I was looking for so I kind of left those behind and so I'm happy with everything I purchased oh another thing I ended up getting at Home Depot is I kind of hate when terracotta planters are like a cone shape kind of I have a lot of those so when I see that they're a little wider on the base I love that and so I ended up getting this one too at Home Depot um, planters at Home Depot are so cheap so I ended up getting it and I'm happy that I did. I don't know what I'm going to place in it yet. Um, but I, I don't know. I just felt like it gave me a little boost going out and shopping because I had not gone out to shop in a very long time. I have been an online shop shopper for sure. Um, like seriously, like. I could say, hi, my name is Misha and I'm a shopaholic. I mean it because every freaking week. But whatever. Um, <laughs> it was nice to go in person. We, we were very safe. We um, always carry a little um, alcohol spray bottle. We have chlorine swipes in the vehicle. We wear our mask and anything that, you know, we touch and we buy, we sanitize it. We try to be extremely safe. Um, we haven't gotten our shots yet. And, you know, so we, we try our best. Um, and honestly, so far, I'm liking 2021. Um, I, th I think I am breathing better um, when I go out and I feel 
like there's more peace out there. Um, so if you have watched this far and like this type of content, please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking on the notification bell so that every time I upload a new video, you're the first one to get notified. It's also greatly appreciated as this helps my channel grow. And if you know any friends or family that could benefit from any type of content on my channel, please make sure to share. I do want to thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Thank you.